Come to the outlets, and first thing out of the gate. Well, you might want to tell them where we're at. We're in Auburn Hills, Michigan. First. Oh, well, I was going to, <laughs> but I showed them this. Take a look at this, guys. This is the new Top Golf facility that is coming out here in Auburn Hills. It's something very cool. We've seen a lot of videos on it, and very soon. We're going to be able to do it. Construction's coming along pretty well on it. So, uh, can't wait for that to get open. You can already tell which way it's going to point to and everything. Oh, it's a lovely little facility. Cool. Yeah, looks good. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today is the very first vlog arcade style wise. We are out here in Auburn Hills, Great Lakes Crossing, and we are at Round One Arcade out here. It is a Japanese based arcade system. It's I cold. keep moving. It's windy. <laughs> it's one of those days, I you know, so inside. well guess what? We get to do that, so let's go. <laughs> Alright, so you walk through the door and take a look at this place, will you? I mean look at how much this look at this. This is ridiculous. I mean just really cool pinball machines and games and everything so when you come here to the left side you've got a few good pinball machines right here and then you've got like a sports bar section right here where you've got pool tables there's ping pong tables back there there's dart boards back there you got a really cool little bar area over here i mean this place is really cool <laughs> They put books off shelves from 20 feet away and scare the socks off some poor librarian. <laughs> it's nice. And then you come over to here and you've got The Walking Dead. You've got Jurassic Park. One other thing you want to take a look at too is you always want to make sure that you scan the house rules on it and kind of get an idea of just what you're looking at, what they're looking for kind of a cool thing you know this may be the biggest game I've ever seen in my entire life look at the size of this thing this is ridiculous and that thing is ridiculous rabbits is a good game but the thing is huge they love coin pushers yep. holy smoke they love coin pushers Full service uh, bar and snack area, getting all your food. Yep. You could possibly need. Not that bad prices either. No, no, if you really look at it, it's not bad prices at all, really. And you see the appetizers, you have some good pizza and whatnot. Good stuff. They have tokens in, but they got these uh, DC cards to go along with it. That is one of the cooler portions of it. But you gotta like the stools though too. The stools are pretty cool. The stools are epic. You gotta love it. This, by the way, is one of the coolest things. No, it's not just the light up things here. This place also has a 18 lane bowling alley, but it is not the coolest thing. It is not the coolest part of this. That is. Balls that look like basketballs. And they're color coded. The support teams, 15 pounders down below, they're all color coded here. The so these ones are 13. The 12s are red. Yeah, 12s that are red. 11 is dark blue. It looks like a purple almost. Yeah. You can't tell in this light. Yeah. And then you got 10 pounders, 9 and 8 pounders. Like I said, the best part about this is, is that it's all basketballs. And they really show off 
a lot of the pricing styles and whatnot too so very cool stuff on that right here is one of the places that you can actually redeem the cards and chips for the place so if you get a, uh, a game or something that gives you tickets or whatnot you can come right here right outside the bowling alley portion of it and get them redeemed also too they give you a bowling etiquette sign as well which is actually very cool i really like the fact that they have a bowling etiquette sign I think old bowling alley should have something like this now right but when you turn this way take a look at the size of these crane games okay these are massive and they are <laughs> they're like giant slippers yeah but these things are packed full of huge stuffed animals here's a bunch there I was forgetting his name. I can't believe I forgot his name. Oh, we got sport ones here. What else do we got over here? Yeah, it's probably around here somewhere. We'll probably keep hitting. We got gigantic strawberries. We got My Little Ponies and Mr. Pickle. Mr. Pickles, whoever he is. <laughs> We got bears and Curious George. Guess what? Look what? Look what? And then, of course, it can't be a Japanese place without Nintendo stuff. Okay? We got Mario and Luigi on this side. We got them on that side. Let's see if there's any other ones here. See what else we can find. Check it out! They're so fluffy! <laughs> and it looks like we are past the. Uh, well, of course, it would not be Japanese without yeah, you, Hello Kitty. Yeah, you gotta have the Hello Kitty portion of it. So now, as we come along here, we come to. Victory Zone, which is basically their prize redemption center. It's actually not too bad of a place. But when you get into this, you start getting into here. Here's where you get into your ticket redemption game and look at the massive size of this. And this is just a quarter of the place that you get to see. I mean, this is ridiculous. I mean, just the amount of game. Yep. The amount of games and size of this place and the size of the games themselves. I mean, this is huge. This is ridiculous inside. It really is a very good looking, very fun. This is, this is awesome. Yeah, this game was really good. If you've ever gotten a chance to play it, Baseball Pro, very cool game. Wheel of Fortune, this is a new one that's out. It's a very cool game spinner style there speed of light which is one of our favorite games of all time you gotta love it it's very cool that's a cardio workout and a half yes that is that is and of course what doesn't have a spinning wheel yeah. now this right here is one of the coolest things because this part right here is fighters row this is like every fighting game that's out there right now, okay? So, I mean, take a look at this. So, like, out of the gate, you got Tekken 7. How cool is that? So, take a look at these games right here. Look at the size of this keyboard. And, yes, it is a Nintendo nunchuck. Go figure that one out. So, back over to this tray here. And that's another thing I like about these ones, too, is they're all sit-down machines. They're sit down Tekken 7. You can sit here for hours on end. And. Yes, that's right. There's the passport machine there that helps you play it. Then they got Tekken Unlimited, the tag tournament. We come over this way. 
more uh, Tekken United. And then you got Blaze Blue. Here with a couple machines. Uh, Aqua Paga. There. Check out some old school ones here. Got some Donkey Kong Jr. along with some old school games there. Uh, Metal Slug. Pac-Man Battle Royal. We got Nitro Blazer. I mean, this is ridiculous. Super Street Fighter here. Uh, Marvel vs. Capcom. I mean, this is Fighter Row. This is paradise right here, okay? Another Marvel Capcom. Another Street Fighter. Old school Donkey Kong. You've got Fighter EX. Uh, what else is over here? This one is Guilty Gear right here. You've got Capcom versus SMK. Come back over this side. And you get uh, King of Fighters. It looks like two King of Fighter ones. Uh, that one's the Grand Master. Then you got another Guilty Gear. And you've got another Capcom versus SMK. So, I mean, it's cooler stuff. And then here's another version of, or another look at their sports bar from over here. You've got everything from, you got dartboards. Check this out. This is how cool that I actually like this place. I really think this is one of the best places I've ever seen in my life. They even give you billiards uh, etiquette. How cool is that? that a place like this will give you billiard etiquette. I mean, it is very cool in and of itself, and I mean, it is a pretty big place, okay? One thing else that's really cool about this place is they have karaoke rooms. They have karaoke rooms. We get a quick look inside here real quick, and look at this place. Look at how cool this is. You have leather couches, here, really cool tables, and a very good TV system. You take a look at their setup of how everything looks on there. Um, they've got just books upon books of songs and whatnot that you can play. Look at this, look at this. These are like all the songs that you can, that you can, pick the, the, the book is huge 462 page book wow. of songs that's pretty big here's a real quick look right outside of that they have the sign for the prices for everything for both a small and large room now the one we were just in, that was a small room. We're going to try and see if we can go take no, a look. that was the large room. Was that the large room? That's the large room. That's the large room. Okay. We're going to go take a look at one of the smaller rooms. Smaller rooms. All right. So here's one of the smaller rooms in, uh, this is a small room for the karaoke lounge. You got the TV and everything set up here. You get two small couches, but... It gives you a stage in the smaller room to be right able to stand up <laughs> here and do it. And the decor is absolutely awesome. I really like it. Really comfy couches. And again, it tells you exactly how to use everything. Gigantic boards, everything. And it's soundproof too, which is so cool. Yes. Here's one other thing. They do not allow alcohol in any of these rooms or loud or abusive language. Remember, this is a Japanese, uh, you know, firm. This came over from Japan, uh, which is the round one style. So they're very set in their ways, and it's very cool. It's 24 credits, but you get a bunch of different choices of pictures to be taken. So. And they have two of these massive photo booths right next to each other. This one here, which... I don't think anybody's in. Nope, okay. You look in here. Not too bad of a place. And they've got a few different ones 
that they can do on that. Our four red discs horizontally. Who doesn't want to play a gigantic version of Connect Four? Bonus round. And then, or Space Invaders. I mean, come on. A little Kung Fu Panda in your life? This game's also really fun. You got Doodle Jump, you got Pac-Man Chomp, Mania. Take a look at it. Yes, they created a bigger version of Flappy Bird, but they call it Flying Tickets. Ever wanted to just bust, a, bust your forearm on a pallet? There you go. Whack and win. <laughs> Never go wrong with ski ball machines. Never, never, never. It's always a good thing to see the classics still in. And I like these light up versions. They're actually really cool. I think they're really, really nice. And then of course there's a jug tossing one. Perfect jump. <laughs> you actually timed that really good. The big wheels. Our, our uh, smallest one, our youngest one, actually did this for the first time one time and hit the jackpot. It was scary as hell. Quick drop, fly o'clock. Big crossing road over here. Ooh, gigantic crossing road. This is a really, really cool arcade. Galaga Assault, which is a ticket game. And guys, we haven't even gotten over to the other side of the arcade. That's how massive this place is. This place is huge. You got Deal or No Deal. You got a huge Hot Shot Bank Golf. You got Hopstar here. What else we got? Um, snow down there. Oh, there we go. A little Ghostbuster action. Two minute drill, one of our most favorite games in the whole wide world. We actually like it. I like this though. Each one of them, team specific. Detroit, got Cleveland, Chicago. You got Toronto and Indi and Indiana. Yeah. It's very cool that they're all kind of theme paced. And then there's this one, which is a gigantic rim and a basketball. It's called Hyper Shot. So uh, very cool one there. Another Wheel of Fortune. And then the Hyper Lagoon. Let's check out this other side of the arcade, shall we? Kid crazy game, which I know how to do those ones. But take a look at the music selection that they have for music games here. This one is one where you play on a turntable, which is very cool. And the one thing is that most of these songs are in Japanese, so you have to deal with that kind of action there. Racing section now. So you got tanks. So a tank battle game. You got maximum time five, which is only four. It's called maximum time five, but there's only four racers. What's wrong with this calculation? You got Moto GP over there. You got supercars here. You got GNC arcade stage. It's kind of loud in this place. Bug Slinger. I haven't seen this in one. I've only seen it in uh, Japanese when they talk about the arcades and whatnot. But how cool is this? They actually had it where you can hook up and actually talk to your other players, too. Did you ever feel like you wanted to be a 
a police officer of any kind in Japan? Here's your opportunity. without a time crisis game. Then you also have House of the Dead. You've got music gun members. We're back in the music games again here, which is kind of cool. This one, can you figure out what game that is? That's cool. That is cool, yeah. That is really cool. They also got Dark Escape 4 over here, very cool horror classic. Then you got the All-Star Carnival. Brew Coaster. Coaster, which is another very cool game. There. Transformers, good old Bumblebee. <laughs> We're in Auburn Hills, let's go hunt, shall we? They made a game where the plunger is the basketball. Look at this thing. How cool is this? When the home stick breaks, just come to an arcade. You get to play Injustice. They make it a little bit simpler though. This isn't what we signed up for. I let myself We got Cruising Blast, which is very cool. Guitar Hero there. Gun bullet, which is a very nice shooter up. How about this? Yes. Zooms. That's right, even Zoom Zooms have their own arcade game. You can't get any better. Coming up through the front now portion of it. You got X Games here. You got of course the backside of Transformers. Fight it, it's fun. Bone Eater? Nice. We got a special edition pirate. There's Batman. Ooh, Alpine Racer. Got Target Bravo. You got another Walking Dead. Another Ski Ball. Another Toss One. Come back this way. You got Time Crisis Five, which is huge. Let's Go Island, which is a great kit game for thing rocks back and forth. GTI Club, Outrun. Nothing like a little Daytona USA, people. You gotta love it. Luigi's Mansion, how cool is that? Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games. Take a look inside this. You get to use the vacuum and everything. And then of course, how much do you love the world's largest Pac-Man. With, of course, Pac-Man School. There's Pac-Man Air Hockey. Another Frenzy, another Connect Four, and of course, what else? Mario Kart. Friendships all over the world. Mario Kart. <laughs> Holy smokes, was that an incredible trip or what? I mean, that arcade is massive. It's just, the video does not do that place justice as to how big that place is. It is monstrous. It's got so much stuff to do. You can easily blow two, three, four hours in that place. If you're a hardcore arcade guy like we are, or if you're you know a bowling enthusiast, if you like shoot pool, darts, you know, they had ping pong, they had karaoke, they've got everything under one roof. So round one is definitely a really good way for us to kick off this vlog. It was a great way to show everybody how cool that place was. We've got more coming down the line. We've got a few that we're going to do within the next couple of weeks. we got some traveling to do in between there for shows. So with that being said, thanks for stopping by and watching the whole thing. We will have new ones up very shortly, and we will see you in the next one.